patience, gentlemen. Once I defeat little Yugi, Kaiba's company will become ours. Well, not really. Yugi's trying to free Grandpa Moto and not Mokubo, which is the true obstacle to your assertion of power in the Kaiba Corp. So it's Kaiba you must defeat, Pegasus. You play only for power, Kaiba, and that is why you lost. Maybe Yugi was right, but I can't start second-guessing myself now. Kaiba is suffering from some serious Vegeta-like symptoms where he is ignoring the good advice from the hero and just going with his old reckless ways, which never ends well. Joya was lucky enough to find the world's most comfortable log to use as a pillow. Seriously guys, logs are not meant to be used as pillows. Unless you're asking for a major crick in the neck. Which, well, none of us want. It's kinda spooky, don't you think? The way it's pointing like that? Those pointers are somehow able to zone in on other Millennium items. They may say the ring is simply pointing towards the other Millennium item, but let's be real here. The Millennium Ring popped a boner for the Millennium Eye. I had just been transferred into your school. Christ, I almost forgot these guys go to school. There was no indication of some sort of vacation or anything, so these kids are basically playing hooky from school to play a card game on a mysterious island. Also, the parents. The poor parents are probably worried sick about Taya, Tristan, and Joey. There was no indication of them getting any permission, not that any sensible parent would let their kids sneak onto a ship to play a card game anyway. Hey, some of us are trying to get some shut-eye here, you insensitive jerk! Joey yells at a guy in a helicopter and expects him to hear him. What is that? Well, it's this super cool new thing called a helicopter, Taya. Here, your deck. I've been keeping it for you. Kaiba came here with no deck? What if Yugi didn't save the cards? Kaiba would be right You could stick with us. Of course, <laughs> you'll need some star chips. And a dueling glove, which will be impossible to obtain without stealing one. Hey, listen, tough guy. Brooklyn Rage. Nice grip. Let me show you mine. I so, since when did Kaiba have some iron grip? Tcha, maybe all businessmen just went to their bank accounts and that's the reason it's so strong. Check his pulse, Yugi! Check his pulse? He's not dead, you know, Bakura, you British cad. And I doubt a sissy shove like that would kill anyone anyways. Forget Pegasus! Now you got me to deal with, so bust out your cards and let's get it on! So, Joey's mentality is this. I just got shoved to the ground. Now it's time to get back up and show him who's who by beating him in a card game. Yeah, that'll make the dirtbag think twice for shoving me, Joey Wheeler. Why don't you go look for an opponent you can actually beat? Like an infant or a monkey. <gasps> What'd you say? That monkey thing gets him every time. And for no reason, too. Since when was the word monkey Joey's trigger word, and why? My latest holographic system. It's a new high-tech dueling device. Looks like just a regular old briefcase to me. <laughs> Joey is the only person in the show that can say stupid like this and not be sin. <laughs> First, insert your dueling deck into the display drive recognizer. Uh, this sounds very analogous to sexual intercourse. <laughs> Don't you know all the girls love it when I stick my dueling deck into their display drive recognizer? A hologram of unprecedented realism. It breathes. It snarls. My new dueling disc technology even simulates its odor. Okay, the snarling thing is already done with the hologram dueling arenas already. But odor? Why would you add odor of all things? And how would you know what they smell like? And would we even want to know what they smell like? And if this is true, the smoke from the machines Bandit Keith specializes in would kill me because of my asthma. Here goes nothing! <laughs> on the subject of these weird yo-yo disc devices that look like Beyblades, it hinges on the user's ability to throw it perfectly like that. So if the user had a throw and accidentally slam into the ground. There goes your secret weapon, Kaiba! And where exactly do the spell and trap cards go? I don't see any place to put them. Watch! Set the card, spin the disc, and bingo! Kaiba, your invention gives the main mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh! the middle finger, times 20! You're supposed to draw five cards and then draw another when your turn starts, but drawing one by one and only being able to summon one monster at a time? God, I thought Kaiba was supposed to be some genius or something. The Battle Ox is resistant to all fire-type creatures! The Battle Ox is resistant to nothing. This isn't Pokemon, it's... Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh god, I got a little, uh, <laughs> Got a little carried away there. Mystic Horseman and Battle Ox! Merge into Rabbit Horseman! The Rabbit Horseman is only 2,000 attack power and Joey can't do a thing thanks to Kaiba's sh dueling frisbee with a tether. It's all luck of the draw with that thing and no skill. <laughs> Joey is physically exasperated from a card game. 
It can't be from throwing the disc over and over either, because Joey and Tristan both train in judo. Your red eyes is a powerful dragon, but his ferocity pales in comparison to my beast. <gasps> the legendary blue eyes white dragon! What is this? The chances of pulling one of the three boner necks in a deck with an average of 50 cards is exactly 6%. And Kaiba drew it as if he knew that the right card would appear? Ladies and gentlemen, this is total bull****. Did you have to take his confidence away with his dragon? Joey was just starting to believe in himself as a duelist. Taya is right. Keb is being a total head right now, and it makes me want him to lose so badly. In fact, it makes me wish something worse happened to him, like if someone reaped his soul right out of his body and sealed it away in some item composed of paper. You don't understand, Yuki. This is the man who created Duel Monsters. So if you create something, does that make you automatically the best at it? That sounds wrong. He has every card that's ever been made at his disposal. <laughs> yeah, but he only uses the tunes. That's like his deck archetype. It was at the Intercontinental Tournament in New York City. I had been invited as Pegasus's guest of honor. Kaiba's suit is apparently a onesie. You can see only the buttons and not a line to see where it can be unbuttoned. No wonder he looks so angry. The suit's squeezing way too hard. Bandit Keith had made it to the final match. He was playing well, but I could see that Pegasus was still just toying with him. They both have no cards on the field, and there's no way the duel barely just started, so what the Just follow these instructions and you'll win. Garnicia Elephantis! Good card, but the note says when you play that, I should play this one in attack mode. I think I just took all your life points. No, you didn't. The Bulimia Elephantitis card has 2400 attack, and that card you just played has 1850. So you take the damage, Sam. <sighs> it's all here. The card I play, how to beat it, everything. I still don't know how he did it. How does nobody notice that Pegasus has a shiny, bright, golden eyeball where his real eye should be? Let's just hope our paths don't cross again before this is all over. Why is Yugi in his Yami form? He didn't transform. Did he pop a Kaiba boner and that's the reason the transformation triggered? Stay down. Stay down like the sniveling defeated dog I've turned you into. No, it is not a great card because its stats are sh You may have seen a few people Exodia. on a Kaiba, but you've never seen anything like mine. <laughs> Obliterate! <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! <laughs> I wish you could see the expression on your face, Pegasus. It's priceless. Tell you what, if you ask nice, I'll finish you fast. Oh! Now you f***ed up! Now you f***ed up! Now you f***ed up! You have f***ed up now! Twelve seconds later. Hey, now you up! Now you up! Now you up! Now you up! Now you have up! Huh? Hey! Listen, tough guy! Brooklyn Rage! Can beat my, can beat my, no they can beat my Brooklyn Rage! I don't wanna be a furry!